What's up guys? Welcome to a quick video. And this is something we're going to do a little more of in 2024. It's kind of a tutorial type, hands-on kind of stuff versus just kind of reviewing tech. And this quick video, as titled, it is going to be um, trying to use your iPad um, as a secondary screen. Uh, this requires I, uh, the latest iPad OS um, 17. So um, as long as your iPad supports that, you should be good to go. Uh, also, it should have a USB-C port. And let's just go ahead and demonstrate with a Windows machine. So this is a Dell Inspiron. Uh, fairly new, but um, like buying cars these days, uh, some of the options um, that you kind of go with when you buy a laptop is I went more on the specs. So I've got a faster CPU. I got more RAM. Um, Versus I gave up some things to stay kind of in my ballpark price range. Like I don't have a backlit keyboard. This does not have any USB-C, Thunderbolt, etc, etc. It is just USB-A, some SD card slots, and an HDMI. That's it. So I gave up some portability with some accessories, right? So uh, one thing that I want to do is I, I run virtual machines on this quite a bit. In fact, I've got like several. Um, and I'll just launch this uh, virtual box. So um, as it comes up here, one thing that is problem with one screen is uh, you don't always have the real estate that you need to do this kind of thing. So that's why, in fact, where did my virtual box go? Okay, so this is where you need that real estate, right? So with this little device, and there's others like it, you don't have to buy this one. This is the Elgato uh, Cam Link. Okay, it's it's great for kind of capturing to a degree, but mirroring or broadcasting your. Um, and I don't even want to say broadcasting, basically, right? It's basically, it's a, it's a video monitor, and, if, and this is what we get here. As you can see, now once I unplug that, you can see what happens here. Uh, it reset, and my uh, virtual box should be, if I reopen it, right out here on the screen. So it keeps it in memory, basically, until I unplugged it, what's going on here. So as you can see, I've got a lot of virtual machines. So what we're going to do is we're just going to plug this in. And now you can see it has, go ahead and, and worked in. Should have a little light here as soon as this basically boots up. And now I'm just going to take my iPad Pro, and it's just a 10 inch iPad Pro, but I've got it in an um, Apple Magic Keyboard. So what I'm going to do is I plug the cam link into the HDMI that's coming out of the laptop. This is just an HDMI to HDMI cable, male to male. The cam link has a female, and then on this side it's just, now this is kind of an older version, but um, this is a USB-A. So I put a USB-A to C adapter on it. Because we want to plug it in ultimately to our iPad Pro, which is a USB-C. So, voila! So let's go ahead and plug in the iPad Pro. And then we have to launch our app, which is Orion. And I'll have a link in there where you can get it. So we download Orion. This is a free app. It does have some in-app in purchases, but, you know, it's you can live without them. So now what you see here is basically... I have extended the screen. One, I did have to go into my display settings on my uh, laptop once this was hooked up because it was basically mirroring it. So I just said extend. Okay, so this is the primary, this is the secondary. And now, if I want to run a virtual machine, this is where it gets really cool. I can drag over here my virtual box and launch a virtual machine and have it run somewhere else. Isn't that glorious? So let's just start this one here. 
and I should have a virtual machine pop up in another window and I could basically be controlling things, reading manuals on one screen and then surfing in another machine over here. How cool is that? That is something that iPad OS 17 allows and it's basically kind of a setting for um, the, the new Apple product that's coming out there, a little headset thing, right? But they're allowing you, basically, we can cheat and we can now input that signal into this little loophole and hopefully they don't close it because I love the possibilities of using my iPad, which I usually always have with me as a secondary screen for Windows. You can use this for yeah, switches, Nintendo Switch. You can use it for a Stream Deck. You can use it for your consoles, okay? How cool is that? This also should work with um, Linux. So anything that you can basically through an HDMI port, plug it in, and boom, you have it, and you can duplicate the screen and have it like this, where I'm extending, or just mirror it, or just use it versus like the little um, Nintendo Switch screen or something, right? Now, one thing, of course, if you're using this without a Magic Keyboard, right, then you can't charge your iPad because you're using its only USB-C port, just for the display. This gives you the opportunity to charge your iPad if you have this kind of keyboard, you can plug into this USB-C spot over here and charge your iPad while you're using it as another screen. And I'll demonstrate here real quick. I'll simply plug in my iPad's USB. And we are charging. Hopefully. Just bits. Well, it's not plugged in. Bad example. But we can actually charge our iPad. Oh, there, there we go. Now we're charging. So, as I'm using my screen, I am charging my iPad. To keep my iPad charged up and doing well while I'm using it as a secondary screen. That way I don't basically decharge my iPad for other things, right? And I'm not using much power from my laptop. So I'm just basically using this to just the, the HDMI port to send the signal over to another screen. That's providing the power. So I'm not draining my laptop battery on top of everything else. So anyway guys, check the show notes. I'll have information to what I've got linked here. I'll give you some um, substitutes that I've seen have worked. Okay, I, I, I've had this cam link for a while. I didn't want to go out and buy another uh, dongle or device or whatever. Um, to try this so I just went ahead and dug this cam link out and like okay well I've got a new Dell Inspiron and I'll see if I can take it to HDMI through this cam link into this I even had to put an adapter in here thinking okay this is never gonna work it worked so that is pretty darn cool this is going is kind of one of my new setups of course if you have an Apple Mac you don't need this you've got sidecar right you can already use your iPad as a secondary display in the ecosystem that Apple provides. But you can't with Windows, you can't with a Nintendo Switch. This gives you the, uh, the power to run the Apple iPad in its own right and use it as a secondary screen, another use for it with stuff that is not in the Apple ecosystem. Just pretty darn cool. Anyway, check the show notes for a link. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the show, and as always guys, thanks for watching and have a good one.